All right, everyone, it is time for the final chapter in the Family Secrets lore. Chapter 8, Not and Null. So here we go, time to wrap things up, see what's going to happen in Chapter 8. It's either going down or we're going to figure out something. Or we're going to get cliffhangered. Either way, something's happening. Let's see what's going on. It's not often you hear such quiet in the dropship. Then again, it's rare for anyone to be here at this hour. But Mirage asked me to come, and sometimes it's easier to indulge him than deal with his badgering. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. He greets me from his couch as I turn into his bunk. Numerous trophies, mirrors, and portraits of himself line the walls. It's the complete opposite of what anyone would consider humble. What is it, Mirage? I'm tired. Uh. So, uh, I take it things went kind of not good with Bangalore? <laughs> yeah, but we worked things out at least. She's dealing with a lot. I didn't want to be another thing on her mind. You're not a thing, but I get it, I, I think. New guy turns out to be her brother, Captain Cheese Wheel. I can't believe it. The way he lays it on, you'd think... I give him a sharp look. Right. Getting to the point. Over here. Mirage stands and I follow him over to his desk. He slides a shabby looking folder towards me. Turns out, the Forgotten Families might be scary and mafia-like, but they also might be hoarders. Found this in one of the warehouse offices. The folder is branded with the Ares Division logo. I open it to see a photo of the scarred mercenary, the one with the gauntlet who called me Dr. Blasi. There's a sign in her hands and the words send a chill down my spine. Subject zero. Oh. She's the one you ran into at the warehouse, right? With the arm scars and the weirdness. Am I a good friend or what? You know, I... His words rush past my ears at the sight of her face. Something tugs inside me again. Is it familiarity? This woman that the voices warned me about. I know her. I have to. And you're not listening to me, are you? I flip through pages trying to find more, but page after page is redacted. Even her name. There's uh, something else, too. His voice is oddly timid, but I need to see what he means. He flips back a couple of pages to one I'd missed in my haste. He points to a tiny fraction of white between the blacked out lines. My breath catches when I read the words. Project leader, Dr. Rene H. Blasi. Whoa, wait, what? That's it? We're ending it right there? Hello? No way. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... I guess that's it. Another cliffhanger. Of course, they always cliffhanger us with this stuff. Ah, okay. Well, we kind of got the end, basically, to Bangalore and Newcastle's story. So Bangalore, Wraith, and Mirage, everyone, basically this whole entire time has been trying to figure out who Newcastle is, who he's working for. He's kind of shady. They don't know much about him. Turns out, they find out, he's Bangalore's brother, he's been living on Harris Valley, he has his own family now, he's a big shot, he's charading, as we know, as Newcastle, who he took over the role for, because if you watch the lore videos, you can see that the original Newcastle, unfortunately, got taken out by mercenaries, so that Newcastle decided, Bangalore's brother decided to pick up the helmet and become Newcastle. So basically, they're done. Their story's done. We know all about that. And now we're going into Wraith, her story now. Okay? So apparently she met this mercenary. 
and the mercenary knew her name, Dr. Blasi, and she's thinking she's gonna maybe start to remember something. So, I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure out next season. I'm pretty sure they're going to continue this story here with Wraith next season. So, I'm looking forward to it. I'm ready to figure out what's going on, see some more into the pa past of Wraith. I love that we're getting all these lore stories about, you know, Lifeline, Bangalore, all the originals that we should have got in the beginning. We're getting that story and that lore now. Um, but that's it for the chapters for this season. If you got through all of them and you collected all of your treasure packs, uh, you're going to get a, a rare Apex pack, of course. Um, and then you're also going to get this epic Wingman skin, which I honestly would pick up and get your packs if I were you. Because this Wingman skin really does look pretty epic. It's actually pretty cool, um, the detail on it and stuff. Just, just as like a free skin, like this is basically free um, for everyone to get, as long as you pick up the treasure packs. So I would highly recommend picking it up. It's actually pretty cool. I've used it in game a couple, couple times, and as you can see on it, I'm pretty sure that's a mercenary on it. I'm not sure who that is, uh, but that could be part of the lore there. Uh, we see that mercenary there or that could be newcastle either way it's on both sides so that's pretty cool uh but yeah this is what you're gonna get if you complete uh the treasure pack so definitely do that and if you haven't completed your battle pass you're also gonna get 10 legendary battle pass stars um but that's it for me i'm gonna go ahead and stop here we're gonna stop this here we are done with chapter eight we are done with the lore for the season so i will see you guys next season for some more lore hopefully next season we'll see what happens whenever the next season starts but for now i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here hope you guys enjoyed all of the family secrets lore for the season and i will see you in the next one